What's up guys, Charlie Pangas here. Today I'm redesigning hard rock band logos. I picked two for today's episode, Skillet and Alice in Chains, two iconic bands. So my goal today is to just try to redesign their existing logos and see if I can come up with something cool in the shortest amount of time possible. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, let's get it. First band we're gonna focus on is Alice in Chains and below their original logo is the font that I chose for Alice in Chains and the logo remake, I guess you can say. Um, this one is called Milk and Balls, which is a really weird name, I know. This is a font by a company called Heritage Type Co. and they have amazing font bundles. If you guys wanna pick one up, I will link that in the description below. But this is the one we're gonna go with and similar to Alice in Chains, we have Skillet right next to them and the font that we're gonna be using for their remake as well. So let's go ahead and get right into it. I've never been a huge fan of Alice in Chains logo, first and foremost. I think it's random and I don't think it makes sense, but we're gonna to try to make it a little better today. So anyway, um, I'm gonna take this right here and we're actually going to separate this. So I'm just gonna delete that half. Another thing that I thought would look cool is just spacing everything really close together. A lot of people think that things need to have breathing room, but that's not always the case depending on the font. So I'm gonna actually make sure everything's touching on purpose, just like this. I think this looks cool already. So we're gonna keep that as is and maybe even resize it. I'll zoom in a little bit so we can see what we're doing here. Your name is really long and in can get kind of confusing where to put it. So we're just gonna put that off to the side for now. And we're just gonna do a capital C for this one. And then we're just gonna make sure the A is touching just like this. And I think this is gonna look quite nice, so we'll see. I think that looks pretty good. We'll adjust certain things in a second, but I think this is uh, off to a good start and we can kind of just place this where we think it needs to be. Uh, I think I'm gonna put it like right here. What I wanna do is actually outline things because I wanna be able to extend certain parts of the logo. So the first thing I wanna focus on is this A. So we're gonna take the bottom part of this A, put that right here, not too long because I don't want it to invade the bottom part here. And I also feel like I did that kind of sloppy. So we'll put it like right there. I'm gonna do the same thing with chains. I'm gonna outline this. And we're just gonna take this C and kind of extend it up a little bit, just like that. And just keep playing with this and see what we can come up with. I think this I would look cool if it was kind of like out. Kind of like this rock or guitar or something like that. And is there anything else I need to do real quick? I think this S might be extended a little bit. We'll see in a second. And I think what I wanna do is give it some sort of flare. So we're gonna make it a little smaller. I'm gonna go up to effect warp and I think I'm gonna do a rise on it. So we'll go rise, something like this, just to give it some flavor. And then we'll expand that. So something like this I think will look kinda of cool. I do wanna use my guides too so I can kinda of see what I'm doing. And I am gonna take this S and just extend it a little bit. About right there is fine. And I think this looks pretty good. And if I wanted to I could put another roller down and just make sure it's touching the S. And I think it's gonna benefit from having some sort of circle or something behind in. Because right now it's looking a little lonely, I guess you can say. So I'm gonna just put a quick circle behind it. And I do wanna make sure this is centered together so things aren't looking off. And then I can probably take my scissors and just cut this part right here. So I'm gonna do that for the bottom parts. And I'm just gonna delete the right and left side of it just like this. And then maybe even round them, because they're a little squared off, obviously. So let's round those up. Bam, something like that, I don't know. What do you guys think? Probably move this up just a little bit, make sure it's kind of centered. Maybe even take a roller, go to the right side of this S, drop that. All right, let me hide those now and take a good look at it. For doing this really quick, I think this looks pretty cool, actually. I'm digging it. Similar to how this eye is, though, I'm curious if I took this a right here at the bottom and drag that down. But what I wanna do real quick is take this into Photoshop and I'm going to add a quick grunge effect to it. And I have an action saved in Photoshop for this, so I'm just gonna quickly apply it. And sometimes band logos look really good textured, so I'm just gonna give it a quick texture and see what happens. And I already think this looks really cool textured, so I'm gonna drag this down just like this. And now we have a clean version of it and a textured version of it, just like that. And I think this looks really, really cool textured, so we're gonna keep that as is. And let's go ahead and move on to Skillet's logo now. So we have, we're gonna do like before and afters and everything, so don't worry. Um, and then on the Skillet logo, I'm just gonna kinda keep the same vibe they have going on. The one thing I don't like about the Skillet logo is the fact that this E is pretty much disappeared. Like it's just gone. And it looks kinda like a C now, so it looks like Skill CT. 
is what it looks like to me. I get why they did that with the E, because the L right here is cutting through it, but I feel like they should have continued it at the bottom somehow, and I just, I just don't think it works. And I'm just gonna drag this down, and we can even drag their logo down just so we can use it as a reference. Because again, I like their logo, I just wanna make it, um, you know, I wanna make some improvements on it. So we're gonna go ahead and expand everything in a second, but first I wanna just change the kerning so everything's a little closer. And I think what I wanna do is actually take this K and make some sort of guideline up here. And I'm gonna use this guideline to just drag the K up. I don't want it to be too tall though, because then it gets kind of lost. So I think about right here looks pretty good. And then we could take this I here and we could drag that up a little bit as well. I actually think that K might be a little too tall, but we'll see right now in a second. Um, I'm gonna bring that L up a little bit like this and then kind of bring that right side down. And then maybe that K is a little too high. So maybe I can take that select both points and drag this down just a little bit. I think that looks much better. And then I think this L right here can actually go on top like this. And nothing has to be too consistent right now because we can always change that later on. And then if I bring another roller down, I just wanna make sure everything is like kind of flush with each other. The E needs to come over now, obviously. This L can probably be extended. And look at that now, we have some sort of, you know, I don't know, we have something going on, right? Bring this T over now. And I think this E, the center part of this E can be extended as well. I think it would look pretty cool if this E was slanted as well or skewed, whatever you want to call it. And kind of something like that, you know, it gives it something unique. The left side of this K could definitely be a little bit higher up. And then we can add that skew to it since that's kind of the theme we're going for here. And then this S can kind of meet the top part. The S can probably even go a little bit above that line. That's not gonna hurt it. And um, I think another thing it needs is a little bit more flare. So what I wanna do is go to my pen tool and add something right here to this E. The same thing can happen with the S here. So now, if I zoom out, you can see it's got, it's got something going on, right? It's not perfect, but you know what? It's not bad either. We're gonna move this down, I'm gonna duplicate it. Now what I wanna do is add that shear to the, the logo. So we're gonna go to Transform, Shear, and I think 18% is all right. Let's try to go extreme with it and see what it looks like. Now let's compare the logos. So, I mean, there is one thing I actually just noticed that I could probably change, this E right here, which isn't going to be hard to fix. I could take this E, we'll just try this real quick. If I need to go back, I can. Um, I kind of feel like it needs to be higher. Let's just move everything up real quick because I feel like this could definitely benefit from being a little higher up. I feel like the center part of this E is also very low. So I'm just gonna quickly move this up. We're gonna take the center part of this E as well and not make it as long. I'm digging that. Okay, I'm digging that. So let's bring this one down and get rid of it real quick. And now we have this logo and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna create a textured version of it in Photoshop. So I'm just gonna take this, paste that in place we're gonna add that same displacement map. Copy that back over. So now we have two versions of the skillet logo. We have a textured version and a clean version. So they can um, use it however they want. Now let's look at the before and after. So on this Alice in Chains one, this is the before, the after, same with the skillet before, and then we have the after one. So as you can see, that E is a lot more clear now and um, prominent instead of being uh, just kind of hidden almost. I think this looks pretty cool. Hope you enjoyed this logo redesign video for Alice in Chains and Skillet, both great bands. If you guys wanna see me uh, try to redesign any other logos, whether that's bands, companies, or whatever, let me know in the comment section below. And if you guys love this video, hit the thumbs up button so it helps my video succeed. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. My name is Charlie Pangus. I'll see you guys in the next one. Keep creating and keep being awesome.